ten traditional Khmer dances, but the most popular by far is the dance of the Absara. So who are the Absara? Where do they come from, and why do they dance? In this video, we will explore the history of these graceful dances and what they mean to the Cambodian people. The Absara are depicted as beautiful women. Their motifs are carved into the stone-based reliefs of the Angkorian temples. They can be seen alone or standing in small groups. Legend tells us that the angel-like beings were born from the churning of the ocean of milk, also referred to as Khol Samot Takta in Khmer. The story is depicted on a 49 meter wide base relief carved on the walls of the East Gallery in the world-famous Angkor Wat Temple. As the legend goes, the divas, gods, and asuras, demons, used the king of snakes, Vasuki, to churn up the cosmic ocean to retrieve the Amrita, the sacred elixir of immortality. It was through this act that the Absara were born, brought to the earth to entertain gods and kings. The Absara dancers were said to be a bridge between the earth and the heavens, dancing the prayers of the people up to the heavens and delivering the will of the deities back down to the earth. the Absara dance is extremely complex. Cambodian children, particularly girls, are taught from a very young age to get enough flexibility to be able to properly execute all the intricate movements. Some movements require them to bend their fingers almost to their wrists. Each gesture in the Absara's dance has a meaning and tells a story. The iconic hand gestures represent the circle of life. The tree, the tree grows and gets its leaves, the flower blossoms, and the seed falls, which creates the tree. The movements are slow, deliberate, and graceful, each movement flowing to the next like water. The image of the Absara depicted on the walls of the temples inspired the clothing that the dancers wear today. They usually dance in a large golden headdress, the three tiers representing the three turrets of Angkor Wat. They wear gold bangles around their wrists and ankles and always perform barefoot. The clothing itself is form-fitting and usually consists of a gold or white bodice and a coloured embroidered sarong. They also wear an ornately decorated collar in red with a matching belt. They wear a single frangipani behind one ear and often have a garland of white flowers from their hair. The Absara dance, as it is taught today, is a classical dance inspired by the Absara carvings and sculptures at Angkor. It was first developed in the late 1940s by Queen Sisawat Kosamat, the grandmother of Cambodia's current reigning king, Norodom Sihamoni, after she went to see a performance at a primary school in Phnom Penh, where the schoolmistress had taught the children an Absara dance. The children wore paper costumes and crowns. 
From then on, the queen took it upon herself to recreate the dance of the Apsara, and her own granddaughter, Princess Norodom Bopadevi, who began practicing the dance at just five years old, became the first professional Apsara dancer of the modern era. The first time the princess performed was during King Norodom Sihanouk's tenure. She would later go on to tour the world and will forever be known as the principal Apsara ballerina. All of Queen Sisawak Kosima's work may have been undone when the Khmer Rouge took control of Cambodia on April 17, 1975. The Queen, whose health had been declining for several years, had already gone to China to join her son and died just 10 days after the fall of Phnom Penh. During the next few years, the Khmer Rouge would be responsible for the deaths of around a quarter of Cambodia's population through execution, starvation, overwork and disease. Their goal was to take Cambodia back to its ancient roots and have all the people work on farms. Culture, religion and education were now forbidden, so with it went the Absara dance. It is thought that 9 out of 10 Absara dancers were killed during that horrific period. <laughs> After peace returned to the kingdom, Princess Bopa Devi was able to return to Cambodia after being exiled. She was a key figure in bringing the art of Cambodian ballet back to the country. She served as Minister of Culture and Fine Arts from 1998 to 2004. Her legacy will live on through her students and the skills they will pass to future generations. The princess sadly passed away in Thailand on November 18th, 2019, at age 77. The country mourned her loss deeply. A moving tribute was made during her funeral as a troupe of dancers from the Royal University of Fine Arts performed around her to pay their respects. All over the country, young people are learning the graceful, precise movements of the Absara, moving in perfect unison while remembering to keep their faces serene and their fingers curled back. If you would like the enchanting experience yourself, many dance troops perform nightly at restaurants in Cambodia cities, mostly in Siem Reap, home to the wonder that is Angkor Wat. We hope you have enjoyed learning about the Apsara today. If you have, please give us a like and subscribe for more great content.